Today we're checking out Chicken Systems Translator. Okay guys, just a little brief about Chicken Systems Translator. So Chicken Systems Translator is a software application designed for musicians, sound designers and audio professionals. Its primary function is to facilitate conversion and translation of various sample formats from one to the next. Translate allows users to convert samples and instruments from one format to the other. This is particularly useful when working with different music production software and samplers that require specific formats. It also does batch processing as well, so you can handle quite a lot of different sample formats and also convert from, say, Akai to normal WAV and, in theory, create Akai images from WAV that you can use in, say, a Zulu SCSI, etc. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because they've just updated to 7.1, which boasts of Renoise instrument compatibility, which is a game changer for me. Very excited to check it out. Let's see what it's all about. Now, this is a really good program. I've used this in the past, right, for many endeavors, anything regarding SCSI and stuff like that, yeah? And uh, you can use it to read old SCSI drives and also even use it for examining your old uh, Akai samples and converting. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because this is the first time I'm testing it out. I'm really excited to let you guys know that this now supports Renoise instruments. So I figured I could get some of my Renoise library because I've got a lot of Renoise instruments and convert them to Akai maybe and put them on an Akai image. Let's see. So we're going to give that a go and see what it's saying. Here's Renoise as you can see. So I'm going to grab a Renoise instrument from my Renoise library and let's have a look. Here we have it. And I've transferred some of this stuff from my Mac, but this is just the PC, so just to show you what one. Right, some Amen time stretch there, etc. Right. Now let's go over to my hard drive and let's find the Renoise instruments. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna get a WAV file. So go to me junglist whatever. I don't want to do the whole thing. So let's go to here and let's get this folder open let's go to breaks and let's hit the play on that okay autoplay is not doing so good what we got here we've got an error some oh it crashed well that's not a good start is it all right let's try again it's probably something to do with the sound drivers i guess let's have a look 7.1 build mm, let's see all right so back here again and sound library let's see back here all right let's just get something simple aim and cuts yeah before we do that let's have a look at this these options and let's go ah here we go sound drivers are not installed right so let's just go primary sound driver yeah in and out apply see what we got there is that going to give me anything boy yeah so what's happening oh well we've got to select it or what Freaking hell, bruv. What's this all about? Real tech audio, not digital app. Primary sound driver. Wait, don't like that. What about ASIO? Boy, I don't know if this thing's in beta mode or what, man, but it's not working too hot. Uh, all right, maybe a different sample then. What about this one? A drum. Can you manage a drum? Right, I think the autoplay might have been crashing it. Right, okay, so let's try again. So I'm going to do that. Hit translate. Right, here we go. Right, excuse me, guys. So these are all the formats you can um, convert to. And one of them is Renoise Instrument. This is what I'm excited about. So I'm going to convert to the desktop like so. Yeah, convert to the desktop. Finish translating. 707MT WAV. Open and closing folder. Let's have a look. 707MT WAV. Where is it? There you go. Double click it. So that should load. Ah! Loading failed with CR error. CRC. Boy, you normally get them CRC errors on printers with the encoder strip. <laughs> What's going on, bruv? Translator. Bit disappointed about this, I ain't gonna lie. I do like your 
you know your other versions of translator maybe we just call up translator 6 translator 7 is looking a bit pony man they advertise it supports renoise instruments but I'm not seeing that I'm not seeing that here at all okay let's try again boy it's finicky man very finicky all right let's try something else I'll just try convert into another instrument format so you're supposed to click here you've got all the different instruments types of instruments and you could just convert from one to the next so in theory you've got hardware samplers you could convert to look at that Akai S5000 program, look, Akai S3000 program. All right, let's try that then on the desktop. Right, not available. Right, let's see. So let's have a look at that. So apparently it's done that, yeah. So what we're looking at, Akai S whatever, yeah. Now whether or not that works, I don't know. It's looking very small over here, but then again, it is one hit. What's the original file size? 56. All right, let's try something with a bit more oomph. Like maybe a yeah bigger pad. Look, that one's three point something meg, right? So let's try translating that now to the same format, and let's see what the size of the file is after that. Done that very quick. So what we got? Uh, where is it? Strange man. Pad collection. Oh look, there it is. All right, now I'm gonna try and do that back to a Renoise instrument and see what I get. So translate that to Renoise. Come on, Renoise. Come on, Renoise. Renoise. There you go. Again, yeah. So that's pad collection. Renoise. It's too quick, man. Look at that pad collection. Renoise. Where is it? There we go. That one there. Look, eleven kilobytes. Nah, man. nah it's not working, bruv. I don't know if it's because the new version of Renoise. There's a bug report on their website. I might go and check that out. Maybe upload the bug report to keep you guys updated. So we tried WAV to let's try Renoise to WAV perhaps. All right. So we get a Renoise instrument here, right? And let's save that on the desktop. S1000 time stretch here. Yeah? Let's save that as a Renoise instrument on the desktop ready to rumble in the jungle because we don't bungle yeah desktop here yeah right so we'll save that s1000 time stretch save yeah so i go there s1000 time stretch i look here yeah what i save that to noise instrument again right so i save that there yeah so you see that one's working right so now let me go to the desktop s1000 time stretch now the weirdest thing about this right is it doesn't preview the instrument so let's translate that now to a WAV file single sounds WAV yeah desktop here we go something new happened there let's have a look so now there's nothing in the folder it's empty man chicken systems you got to sort this out I'll do a, a follow up on this this full you know on this translate a full in-depth yeah uh, you know comment down if you want to see that and i'll document what i normally use it for but a little bit disappointed so far i'll keep you updated if they fix this problem that'd be awesome translator chicken systems big up catch you later bye <laughs>